good 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 monday morning good monday morning how are you doing welcome to another beautiful day of spaders um today we're going to talk about something very special yeah not this bottle no what normally goes in this bottle water in america they'll say water water in um england they'll say water no or water yeah water or water yeah in ghana they'll say ncio ncio and i want to show you um the difference between the words and not only that to show you the importance what does water mean go in the dictionary and you'll find out what water means but the word water unless you go into the dictionary doesn't actually explain to you the importance of water and its relevance to you but science you see you have to now go into science and science will tell you that you the human you are 20 percent earth what you see of me is the 20 percent of earth that i am 80 percent water 80 percent water or water or in seal. so inside the 20 percent that i am that you can see and some you can't see there's a further 80 percent of me in the form of water water in seal inside of me now 80 percent basically mean i'm almost full of water so listen to what the Akans um, say. They say ensue. What's the relevance of the word ensue? Now, if you understand phonetics, then you don't need a dictionary because that's what phonetics does. They put the dictionary, the meanings of the words into and the relevance of the words into the word. So there's no need for you to carry a dictionary. And so means it doesn't it doesn't reach the top and seal means that which reaches meaning they're saying yeah you see this because science denotes that it is 80 percent of you the language of tree to stress that out tells you that this is that which should reach you this is that which should reach you from tip to tip to tip and ensure it should reach you that is the relevance of water but why is it so relevant that it should reach you because you see the human being um or life in general we we pick up a lot of you know bacteria this that that rah 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 we also pick up a lot of vitamins, nutrients, um, everything. So we pick up good things and we pick up bad things. What makes us different from a rock is the fact that we can transport those nutrients around our bodies. And in doing so, we grow. You see? That's what makes us different. What makes us different, again, is that when we pick up bacteria within us, unlike the stone, the bacteria could overgrow on the stone and take over. But within the human, if the human is healthy and is doing the right thing, the bacteria will be attacked, destroyed, and then through and through water, the bacteria will be dispelled because that's how our system is cleansed. Everything about you, there's nothing about you that travels without water. Water is the transportation system of the human body. I once argued that we got it wrong. We're building roads when we should be, when we should be building water systems. If every road, every single road, in your country was made of water 
listen carefully, was made of water connecting channels, every single road. It means you will all be dealing with little boats, big boats, whatever. Boats that fit the size of the roads, just like cars. Not every car can travel on every road. But if that became the case, do you know how fast traveling will be? That's one. Two, do you know how cheaper traveling will be? Three. And four, do you know how safer controlled channels, do you know how safer traveling will be? You see the movement of goods around your nation. It will run like smooth. Do you know? Listen carefully.